three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. And good morning, folks. Coming to you on this rainy, rainy, windy morning, man. It's March. No doubt it's March. And I got mail. And we got no Pat Malone. Just being Puddin sitting in here. Puddin, are you awake? <laughs> I'm awake. Man, sakes alive, folks. The wind is blowing. The rain is uh, coming down. So it's going to be one of them good days, as they say, to stay in and sleep. Sleep today. But uh, anyway, I'm sitting You're here. not lucky to be by yourself today. I am here. Oh, did you get the button back on? No, the connection in the back of the button uh, came loose. So oh, okay. Well, you got one of those things. Are you the back to drinking? Are... are you back to drinking again? The gremlins are <laughs> planning against me. No, I'm in my last week. Oh, all good. Yeah, you just need to stay off that stuff, brother. I'm all good. The devil's in that bottle. The devil's in there. No. Yes, the, he the, is. The devil's in the details. And when you drink it, that devil gets in you. Yes, he does. Yeah. But I have fun, don't I? Yeah, see, that's what they do on this. You know, they, they call it spirits, you know. It's spirits, but they leave off the evil part. Oh, this section okay. brought to you by Granddaddy uh, Mims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, big shout out to Lewis Surplus over at Hayesville. I appreciate them not kicking me out of the place yesterday. But anyway, it's a lot of fun to go over there. I enjoy going over. Do you ever go over to Lewis Surplus? And, didn't you buy stuff have, here? Have not. Yeah. Lord, they got about anything. Anyway, went over and aggravated them guys. But they didn't throw me out, and I do appreciate that, no doubt. So... Man, I tell you, this Maryland up here, we had this Scott Key Bridge. Did y'all see that this morning? I did. Did you see the video? I watched God, the video terrible. over. Man. And it's a, uh, man, I'll tell you what, what they, it was 10 plus cars on the bridge, I think, when it collapsed. I That's what they said, something like that. And they're looking for up to 20 people. Wow, this is just sad. Is this just not sad? Yeah. What What's going on with the ship? I mean, was the captain drunk or not paying attention, or what's going on? I don't know. I mean, you know, it's they're they're you know the ships are huge. The, yeah, they don't turn on a dime, as they say. You can't turn them on a dime. But I, you know, you would think. I think a lot of these port, they have like ship captains that swap over and let captains that all they do is drive the ships in and out. Then they get off and they go on. Right. But uh, right. You know, I don't know. And another thing on this is the bridge uh, seemed like it was, I don't know, it looked like when they built this thing, they would have done some kind of evaluation on, you know, damage if something did happen to the bridge. You know, if something bumped it. How much stress would the bridge take before it fall, you know, fell? But, I mean, this well, thing come down in a hurry. I may, I may be wrong on this, but I think bridges are not really connected to the columns that they sit on, that they – they stay there because of the weight of the bridge. No, they're connected. I, I do believe they're connected. I Are think they? they're concreted into the ground, yeah. I couldn't imagine uh, not being connected, but, I'm. you know, they hit this one pil- pylon or whatever you want to call it, and the whole bridge came down. I mean, you would think that part would have come down and the rest of it would have stayed up, but, you know, it looks like they'd have done some kind of, uh, you know, evaluation on structure damage, you know, if something did hit yeah. it. Or maybe even put some kind of a barrier around it, you know, to where if something did hit it, you know. But this was, yeah. uh, man, this is crazy. That I mean, the whole bridge came down. I and mean, this is a pretty, this is a pretty big major road going into Maryland, in it. I yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, part of the interstate highway system, so it's a heavily traveled road. Well, it's a good thing it didn't hit in, it. In, That's what everybody says. Oh, it's a good thing it didn't hit at five o'clock. You know, traffic. Well. There would have been more more people on the bridge, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, just sad. This is just sad. So, and I don't know. You know, hopefully, hopefully people survive this. But I don't know. It's just like you see these, and you go across the bridge, you don't ever think about a bridge falling. Well, we've got some aging infrastructure out there. The reality is that we're not keeping up with the maintenance on our bridges and our roads and highways so we gotta do ukraine's we're probably gonna see more of this what we gotta keep up with ukraine's <laughs> infrastructure yeah we gotta keep and, theirs uh, going yeah. yeah i guess you're right about that but i don't know i'm just you know when this thing come down i thought god is this thing made out of aluminum or what you would think you know they wouldn't just break apart and go down but i don't know i feel sorry for the people that's passed away of course there are going to be lawsuits and money change hands and all that but it still don't bring these people back but uh, I don't, you know, like yeah, I said, well, do it's, what? Not the, it's not the first time it's happened in terms of a, a ship running into a bridge. I mean, didn't that happen down in Tampa? It wasn't the Sunshine Bridge. 
But I don't think it fell though, did it? Chip ran into it. But it didn't. It didn't fall, did it? Yeah, it did. Did it? I don't remember that. Yeah, that was probably I don't know, fifteen years ago. Yeah. I don't know. These, you know, where you got these major ports where these big ships are coming in. I mean, you know, you look at some of these bridges you go across, they're huge. They're high, they're wide, they're huge. And that's kind of what they're going to have to shoot for just to keep this kind of stuff from happening. I mean, I don't know. It's just who knows the answer to it. Somebody will. Somebody will know the answer to it. And they'll come up to it and they'll blame somebody. Somebody's going to take the blame for this. But anyway, I'm a, I believe in prayers and I think you need to keep these families in the prayers. Because, I mean, they went out probably heading to work or coming home from work and no idea. And next thing you know, the, this happens. And, you know, it's a lot of hurt. A lot of hurt. No doubt. A lot of yep. hurt. So, For sure. Yep. For sure. But anyway, I guess uh, Packy finally made it in here. I had to help. You've been sitting here the whole time. What are you talking about? Oh, was he really? I didn't <laughs> yeah, even man. notice you sitting over there. I, I had to help, I had to help Harry out this morning. Oh, yeah. I heard that. Yeah. 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 I had to help Harry out. <laughs> would you, I figured would you he'd have all that anti-Marjorie so Taylor. Warm? I figured he'd have all that Marjorie Taylor Green stuff memorized by now, you know. He jumped on me about the uh, voting machines. I don't even remember what he said. What did he say? Electronic voting machines are going to outlaw? Yeah, it was something like that. I got an idea with that. I think we should make it even more complicated. Like, make <laughs> it so complicated that nobody knows what's going on. And then they can cheat a lot easier, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you have them just go into a room and everybody raise their hand? Okay, who's voting for Trump? And everybody raise their hand. And then who's voting for Biden? Everybody raise their hand and they count them. You know, like you do in church. All in favor, say aye. All opposed, then count them. And then that way you'd know. There wouldn't be no, you know what I'm saying? After they give their ID. People could vote twice. Not if you got their ID. Well, wait a minute. If you raise your hand the second time after you raise your hand the first time, you could vote twice. Yeah, you know, as many times as you want. I don't know what the statute of limitations is, was, but anyway, I had a buddy of mine come by the other day, and we went to school together, a good friend of mine, and, and he said, you know, Stephen, the meanest thing you ever did to me, that's that's a bad way to start out a conversation. The meanest thing you ever did to me was when we changed this date on his driver's license because, you know, he was wanting to buy beer. So we sat down in in, uh, in science class because they had them, them uh, what's them things called, spatulas or whatever it is, what's them things called where you cut? stuff in biology class an exacto knife (laughs) (laughs) and we changed the date yeah scalpel we changed the date on his driver's license and you know it looked really good for us of course we were up at 16 years old we thought dang that looks good that looks good so and it worked good up here in iowa until he got down to atlanta and i reckon he got down atlanta and it didn't work didn't work out too good down there he had to spend a night in jail but man oh well so I'm not into that anymore. I've quit that job. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea. I forgot all about it. But yeah. This happened when, when you were 16 and you ran into this guy and he remembered it? Yeah, he come by the house. I mean, that's something when you get locked up in jail. You don't forget that long, you know. Okay. Yeah, but it was he was innocent. Yeah, he was innocent. <laughs> innocent, yeah. Did you ever do that, though? Try to change your ID? Not, you know, they do it all the time now where they vote, but. We didn't. We didn't do that uh, because uh, New York State had driver's licenses that were blank, and you could fill in whatever you wanted. Really? Yeah, we yeah. had to take that little scalpel knife and peel that thing open. We changed the date on it, put it all back together. I thought, Couldn't you just go down there to bait and tackle and get a fishing license and use that? I guess maybe you could. The sad <laughs> thing about use it, your brain, man. <laughs> around here, everybody knew how old we were. You know what? We weren't doing anything important because everybody knew how old we were. Cause man, are you Debbie's 10-year-old? <laughs> are you trying to buy beer? <laughs> no, sir. You don't look 38 years old. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry. I'd just like to apologize to him on the radio. I am sorry. <laughs> oh, well. I guess we need to get to a break. Oh, yeah, let's get to a break, Stephen. Okay, good deal. Let's go ahead. All right, Stephen. Hey, hey, it's your show. You want to go to a break? Go to a break. Let's thank let's thank uh, Young Harris Water Sports. We appreciate them. And today, with all the rain going on, be a good time to go down there and check out the showroom because you ain't got nothing else to do and drag in a boat or an RV or some accessories at Young Harris Water Sports. And now with more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. A young Harris woman who allegedly took her landlord's credit card for a two-month shopping spree has bonded out after being charged with exploiting the elderly and transaction fraud. 
Blairsville Police Chief Michael Baxter says Sarah White, age 33, had permission from the 83-year-old man to do some repairs around her unit with his card. Except she went out and used the card to buy numerous items that were not used in the uh, renovation of that rental. The alleged fraud was about $7,000, and most of it was gift cards in the denominations of 10 to $100. So Baxter confirms that White was spending a lot of time in the gift card kiosk at the Blairsville Home Depot, about two whole months last spring, in fact. I think she took advantage of this individual, and he's 83 years old and on a fixed income, and now he's accrued a bunch of uh, charges that uh, he didn't really authorize for her to make. White made bond quickly from the Union County Detention Center last week. The Naples woman accused of murdering her Hayesville boyfriend in February is back in Hayesville with a court date already set. Cheryl Ann Nicola will make her first appearance in Superior Court April the 15th. She had fought extradition from Florida where she was first arrested, but she was booked into the Clay County Detention Center last Wednesday on the charge of murder. Please download the free WJRB app for Pat Malone and Harry Bond. I'm Jeff Batten. Dad, turn on the heat. Give it a second. Hey, Dad, it's really cold. Guys, this car isn't exactly brand new. Give it a second. So I'm guessing heated seats are out of the question? Wise guy. Hey, guys, it's Andy. Why don't you come see me and check out all the new and pre-owned vehicles at Jackie Jones Ford of Hazel. The new year means a new vehicle, and Jackie Jones Ford is ready to hook you and the kids up with something a little, eh, hotter. Jackie Jones, your neighborhood Ford dealer, Highway 64 West in Hazel. Online at jjfordhazel.com. Boundary Waters Resort and Marina on Lake Chatug is the number one JC Tritune dealer in the country, specializing in luxury performance Tritunes with reliable Suzuki outboard power. As the exclusive dealer for JC Tritune in the Lake Chatug area, our professional sales and service team will get you out on the water in style. For the best selection and pricing on new and used JC Tritunes in the North Georgia Mountains, visit Boundary Waters Resort and Marina at bwboating.com or call 706-896-2530. This is Tamela Cooper with Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, and I left my husband and staff unattended for a few hours, only to find out I have been given a nickname, which happens to be a rodent. In our line of work, you have to maintain a sense of humor, but I think these guys took it a little far this time. Come by and give them a hard time with me, and while you're there, let's go ahead and get your wishes in writing. Pre-planning your wishes doesn't have to be somber. We are Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, Towns County's local funeral home. Kitchen remodelers. What are those three wonderful words again? Granite, quartz, and marble. Exactly. See them all in one Young Harris showroom. Introducing Masterpiece Granite right here in the Enchanted Valley. Stop by and make your selection from the best names in the industry. New countertops arrive within a week. Go to MasterpieceGraniteLLC.com to see the samples for yourself. Or Masterpiece Granite LLC on social media. 441 Plot Town Road in Young Harris. 678-677-4976. 74. Everyone dreams of the day their child will make it to the big leagues. Now batting for your home team. It all starts with mindset and willpower. Then let Hit Sports Academy grow your strength and confidence. Powerlifting, personal training, and specific sports training for middle or high schoolers can take you on an elite playing field. Turn your weakness into your strength with the Hit Sports Academy inside the gym in Blairsville. Join a class now. Find them on Facebook at the Gym Blairsville. Start the day off right at the Tin Roof Country Store and Creamery in Blairsville. You might think of the Tin Roof for yummy desserts, but the breakfast menu is really great. Not only that, breakfast is served all day. And have you tried the new coffee roasts, like the Wake Up Happy Espresso Blend or the Cold Plunge Cold Brew? Taste for yourself in the Merchant's Walk in Blairsville, the Tin Roof Country Store and Creamery. Open at 6 a.m. Monday through Friday and 10 a.m. Saturday. The Morning Dish. The Tuesday Morning Dish is powered by Young Harris Water Sports. You want to deal with people who love boats? You've come to the right place. From a new covered storage facility to boat consignment services, it's all in one place with Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, back with you folks, and I'm already in the nervous mode because I feel like I'm fixing to lose some money because Packy's coming up with some brainstorm he's trying to sell me. 50-50 again. Nah, Puddin's here, man. <laughs> Pat, we would, we would cut you in on it, but you're all the way over there. 50-50, yeah. Every time, Pat, every time Packy comes in here with another brainstorm, I leave another 100 bucks. But Dogecoin's finally on the rise. Yeah, man. I'm Dogecoin. up to 66 bucks, so. 
Anyway. So how, about, how much are you down now? I've got $374 worth of stock, and it's worth 66 bucks. Okay. Yeah. But I know. There's supposed back. to be something with back. I'm supposed to be back. something with X payments where uh, Elon Musk is like the unofficial father of Doge. They call him the Doge father. Right. And he's actually putting in place a system of X payments. And they're thinking that Doge, you're going to have to buy your whatever X currency in Doge. If you had bought Doge one month ago, Pat, uh, you would be up 118%. Listen, do not listen to him. If you had bought Doge. I'd, I know. Oh, no, okay, Pat, if you, <laughs> if you, if you had bought Where's Doge. Where's disclaimer? Okay, if you had bought Doge five years ago, like Packy told you to. Okay, yeah, you would do need the d- disclaimer. This is, does not constitute financial advice under no circumstances. Do anything that Packy ever tells you to do. If you had bought Doge five years ago, Pat, you would be up 9,159%. But no. See, this is the Dude. problem. This is the problem, Pat. Is that he tells you all this investment after the fact. If you would have bought it back after then, after the fact, yes. Yeah, yeah. Not buy it now because it's it always twenty twenty, isn't it? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Hey, man, y'all keep up with this Diddy Combs, Sean Diddy Combs, Diddy? Am I saying that right? The rapper they raided his home. P Diddy. P Diddy. P Diddy is. Uh, they raided his home down. I guess is this in Los Angeles? I think wasn't it? They raided his home on both coasts. They raided it in Miami and in Los Angeles. Human trafficking investigation, home. man. What's the? I mean, this yeah. this is a uh, pretty serious business right here. Yes, it is. So, yes, what are you hearing? Is. Anything much other than that? I mean, they're doing a. Why would I mean this? Don't keep it pretty pretty quiet about what what is actually going on. But that's that's the rumor. Is it? It's something to do with sex trafficking. So. Who knows? It'll come out eventually. It won't. Depending on how good they spin it. You don't it. think so? I don't know. I just think this is a, you know, this is a pretty big deal when you got somebody like this that's actually involved in that. If he is involved in that, I just think that is just totally. And now, is this not is this not uh, capital punishment for this crime? Is this not capital punishment now? No. Why not? It I mean, be. there's been there's been proposals to do that, but I don't think it's capital punishment at this point. Of all the things that do have capital punishment, this should probably be one of them. You know I'm I mean? with you on that 100. <laughs> percent I mean, but this is like just crazy sex to me. Trafficking children, yeah, that's that's up there. That should probably be something you just get shot for. You know, I'm I'm in with you. After <laughs> yeah. they hooked that battery charger up, like they did over at Russia, for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, what? Coming that days. back up, that's painful. Oh, crap, we forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not think, though, Pat, I mean, would this not be something that you need to use the battery charger for? I, I Stop it. Why? Please, stop it. That's painful just to hear you talk about that. I know it. If he's, if he's, inno- no, if he's you, innocent, God you, bless him. If he's, if he's not innocent. If he is actually, if they find this to be true, why would why would this guy though? I mean, he's like a rapper, you know. He's got more money than he knows. Hey, Carter's listen, got liver pills. The reality the reality of this is he's probably so far removed from those homes that he has no idea what's going on there. Oh, that's probably, it's probably his posse. Is what? His posse. Uh, his his gang. Oh, okay. You know, his, I could totally offer for a minute. His, his his bros. I don't know. What do you want to call them? I, you know, I don't think so. I you know I, maybe you're right. I don't know. I know Elvis was took for a ride, and they took all his money, and he had no idea what was going on. But this right here is pretty serious business. You think that? Uh, and you're talking about Homeland Security, which I'm just glad they're raiding somebody besides Trump's house. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, I have no. Trump use. had a good day yesterday. Do what? Yeah, he did. He is so yeah. he's so cool. He is so cool. They were they were what one hundred and seventy. What did they re, re, reduce it to? Like one hundred and fifty million or something like that. Yeah. How you planning on just, paying that? Just one hundred and fifty million. How you planning on paying that? How you planning on paying that, Mister Trump? And he just turns around, casual like, and he says, "Cash." Hey, by the way, Pat. <laughs> so uh, we're talking. We're going back to stocks for just a minute. So DWAC. Remember, I was talking about that before the Digital World Acquisition Company. You're gonna get us sued. So I've had yeah. that for a while. Yeah. So like, and I've told you about that like a while back Stephen. that has started today with the merger is now being traded under the symbol djt 
Donald J. Yeah. Trump. It has merged into his, this is now well, his I heard company. About that. That's the thing. In one week, it is up seventy three percent. I got Wait mail. a minute. It just <laughs> it just started trading today. It can't be one week's trade. Well, why don't you go it look at opened, go look at the stock, Pat? <laughs> I mean, I'm looking it at it right now. I'm, you see the problem hey, with his investment. I'm looking at it right now. Number, Total number, return twenty nine percent. What's it called? Number one, DJT. the stock market is not open yet. Pat, you have. <laughs> Dude, do you live in like? Until have fun with your Vanguard account that doesn't have aftermarket trading. <laughs> the, the the stock opened at uh, forty three, and it it's trading at thirty six. The stock right now, DJT, is trading at $62.38, $62.25. It has a uh, 2.28 million volume. Got it all right here, man. Okay. All right. Just pay attention to Packy's disclaimer. First of all, it couldn't even be that because yesterday during market hours it was 53 bucks. I think you're looking at the wrong stock. It didn't trade yesterday. What? Pat, it it's was DWAC today. was the stock. Well, I'm watching it go down up. as y'all talk about it. That's, it's going 80, that's 50. Not the merge. Golly, that's not the merge stock. Well, then why did my stock well, turn into – why did my stock yesterday say DWAC and today it says DJT? Why did it just change overnight? Because today is the day of the merger. That's it what I just said. It did not trade yesterday. Okay, do you know why he got the symbol DJT? Do you know why that was available? DJT? Donald J. Trump? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm I mean, just... I know you're going to say because it went bankrupt and it was his and blah, 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 whatever. But he's worth yeah, seven, his, he's worth seven billion dollars totally now, Pat. Bankrupt. So sorry that's not good enough for you. He's such a, he's such a he, dummy. He, <laughs> like, he, listed. he listed. He made four, almost four billion dollars off of that, off of that uh, merger. All right, I'm gonna buy stock. I'm gonna buy some. I'm gonna buy two dollars. I wouldn't buy it now. He's restricted for six months to him selling any of that. Okay, unless the board votes, which his son. Why would you not buy it now? Unless they vote to allow him to do that, which they could do that very easily. They could free that up. That's just a board vote away, man. Why would you not buy it now? I'm Packy? Not, I'm not giving you any of my stock tips. <laughs> <laughs> go, go buy it, Stephen. It's at 62. Go buy it. I'm going to buy a dollar's it. worth. Yeah, I'm going to buy a dollar's worth. Yeah. Tomorrow, folks, I'm going to be a different man. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> Partial I ain't taking more of this bull because I got money. How much money? Oh, boy. In three months, that <laughs> stock is up 250.87%. Ah. On what, on what basis? I have no idea. What's he don't the, know. He just don't. What's the, what's the assets behind it, Peggy? Truth Social. That's yeah, a big Truth part Social. of it. Yeah, Truth Social. How much revenue did Truth Social generate last uh, Pat, year? Pat, I mean, what, what's, I'm, not, I'm not here to. I'm, I'm kind of like Packy. I feel like this is going to really take off. I really yeah. do. It's like anything that is involved with Donald Trump, Pat's going to hate on it. It's like it doesn't matter what it is. Like, he made $4 billion from it. There's, he's like, oh, he's such a dummy. No <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, he's such an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Pat. But, you know, you didn't make a living coming up with talk, poems for Hallmark. So Talk to me, talk to me for uh, in August. In August, all right. We got a break. This is going to be it's going to be a twenty dollars stock in August. Okay, we're going to take a break, folks. Today is Young Harris Water Sports. We so appreciate them bringing the show. Go by and check them out. They got boats, RVs, and accessories at Young Harris Water Sports. Young Harris Water Sports and RV now offering new RVs and boats from top brands like Grand Design, Rockwood, Cedar Creek, Godfrey Pontoons, Hurricane Deck Boats, Monterey Bow Riders, Roballo Center Consoles, and more. Now offering a closeout sale on all 2023 boats and RVs. Young Harris Water Sports and RV has the largest service center and parts and accessories selection in the area, so there's no reason to leave the mountains. Young Harris Water Sports and RV, located at 3676 Highway 76 or online at yhmarinandrv.com. Let's go! Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the backseat. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? 
Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple, so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. Now you can find Mounted Insurance in Blue Ridge, a division of more insurance on 515 between the UCB and the Burger King. Call Jeremy Payne at 706-632-2274 for a fast and accurate quote. Hiawassee Hardware is a full-service hardware store carrying a wide selection of products for homeowners, builders, pro contractors, and DIY enthusiasts. We carry the name brands you know and trust. We provide specialty services like small engine repair, paint matching, blueprint takeoffs, delivery, and more. Let us help you get stuff done. Browse to HiawasseeHardware.com for monthly specials and for what's new. Hiawassee Hardware, your store for starting off a new year and a whole lot more. Union County Recreation Department offers activities for all ages. Put on your walking shoes and enjoy the many miles of walking trails at Meeks Park or enjoy some playground time with the kids. Don't forget about the two dog parks we have. There's one by the Senior Center and one at our Farmer's Market. There's something for everyone. Pickleball, tennis, swimming pool with splash pad, and if golf is your game, check out Butternut Creek Golf Course and the View Grill for lunch. Call 706-439-6074 or visit us on Facebook at Union County Recreation Department. Hello, this is attorney Richard Sorrell. Do your medical problems prevent you from working? If so, you may be entitled to disability benefits from the Social Security Administration, and I'm here to help you get those benefits. If you or a loved one need help with your disability case, call us at 706-745-5591. We handle disability cases all across the tri-state area, and we're conveniently located in downtown Blairsville. And there's no attorney fee if we don't win your disability case. That's 706-745-5591. For over 50 years, Mountain Realty of Hiawassee has been providing outstanding service to our clients. If you're looking to buy or sell in North Georgia or Western North Carolina, Mountain Realty will provide you with the most ethical, honest, and efficient service possible. Our realtors listen and are eager to help our clients find their dream home or property. We're members of Northeast Georgia and Georgia MLS, allowing extra exposure to agents working with buyers. We are easy to find on the shores of Lake Chattoog, in downtown Hiawassee, at 325 North Main Street, and at mountainrealty.com. The Morning Dish! Young Harris Water Sports says it may be Tuesday, but on the lake, every day's the weekend. Young Harris Water Sports is ranked number one in customer service and boasts the number one full marine service department in the mountain area. So make it the best Tuesday ever at Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, we're back with you. And, uh, man, across the Teletop machine, I get all kinds of stuff. You know, we talked about the bridge collapse up there, and, and now my worries has got worse because they're saying, don't worry about the big bridge collapse because Pete's got this. Oh, Pete Butt Giggy, he is uh, here. And we're in great hands, folks, because he's got tons of transportation experience, so he'll figure out what's going on with all that. You feel like you're in better hands now that – He rode a bus one time, didn't he? Butt Giggy's in charge. <laughs> After all, there's no bridges falling down in South Bend, Indiana. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, old Bucky, yeah. he's got her, boys. He yeah, got her good. Got it, yeah, we're got it covered. Yeah, yeah. Well, which way do we go, George? We're this is our administration, man. This is why I just cannot. I scratch my head and think, why would y'all support this administration from the top all the way down? I mean, honestly. Here you got Buck Giggy. He ain't never done nothing in his life, and he's over transportation. Honestly. Then we got, we always talk about that dude dresses up like a girl over her health. <laughs> She's fatter than a tick. Been on a dog for six months. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Jeez. What? And it's getting tick season, folks. It is. Uh, the weather's changing. It is tick season. Everybody yeah. worries about them ticks. Listen, I know for a fact because they're not, they won't hurt you until they swell up like a grape. And when they get big like that, that's when they kind of get dangerous to be on you. So just be careful with that. Well, I mean, honestly, this administration, is there anybody in this administration that's got any sense whatsoever that you would feel confident in? Not- not so far. I mean, honestly. I mean, name one person really? in the administration. You that can't. You can't. There's not. There's not. And I mean, I'm picking on them Democrats because I can't that's understand. What happens. So, that, that's what happens when you select people to fill quotas. You know, you've got to have one of those and one of these and one from column A and one from column B. Why it's do like you have Chinese to have that? menu. I mean, it's honestly, that's it. Why don't say, look, we don't really need this guy. He don't do anything. Let's just not do this. Let's. Fire him and take his money and give it back to the American people where they can buy a loaf of bread. 
There you oh, go. that might make that might make the inflation go down if people had more money. In their well, that's pocket. the thing about him. You look at P Diddy. I mean, there's perfect examples of it. I mean, they're chasing him all across the world trying to find him because he's a child sex trafficker. But then if you do it across the U.S. border, hell, they just give you a cell phone. You know what yeah. I mean? They'll just let you in, put you up, and help you out. I mean, that's send you in an airplane across the country. Give you a five star hotel. But that's happening every day. I mean, even the I mean, even the border chief is saying. I mean, it's a national security threat. There's 140,000 people who are on the terrorist watch list that they think they've let let in. And old Joe is just sitting there eating his ice cream on the beach. He don't even know what day of the week it is. I mean, he is just – it's just he's sad. Ha- he's happy. He got his ice cream. He's happy. I am proud to be American, and the reason I am, because I know the veterans that fought. I know a lot of the veterans that fought for our country. I know the people of America, but the people in charge of America right now, I am just embarrassed for myself and the country. You, know, are you not? I know, but rigged elections have consequences, Steve. Well, you're right about that. Absolutely right about that. And, oh, here we go. Look at his face. I can done see it already. Go ahead and say it, Pat. What? What? I've, I'm done saying it. I mean, you want to keep going down that road? Have at it. I want somebody out there that supports Biden to call me and tell me why and who in that administration is worth a count. And that's a Southern turd, worth a count. Who, who, who in their right mind, if they voted for Biden, would call you? Well, there's somebody really? out there, I'm sure. I mean, there are going to be people uh, on the square I, up there with signs. I don't think so. Yeah, with signs. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I don't know. I, I bet if we said Trump, though, people call in because they ain't embarrassed. That's, yeah, that's the, we get that the all the time. You know, I reckon they got some kind of thing going out in California where they cannot post the photos on social media of people who's been arrested. Have y'all been following that? I think this is hilarious. But anyway, it's some kind of a thing they passed out there where you could, you know, you get a lot of that around this area where they got, oh, arrested, and they put the face up and that kind of stuff, and they're saying they can't do that anymore. Yeah. So I reckon the, the cops, now they're posting them with Lego heads. Have y'all seen that? They put the Lego heads on. Uh, (laughs) No, I haven't seen that. Oh, it's hilarious. And now California, they're they're asking them to stop doing that. Stop using Lego heads to disguise the suspects. I don't know, man. It's just what a bunch of idiots. They got to worry about stuff like this. And they can't, I mean, their taxes is high. People's leaving there like a. Like what? The prosecutor in, in uh, San Francisco that said, uh, Criminals have rights, but victims don't have any rights. Well, that's the truth. That's the way it is. I like that one guy, though. Did you see him where they actually had somebody shot somebody in a home evasion or something, and they're trying to find him, and he's like, look, you did right. We asked more people to do this. Somebody breaks in your house, shoot them. Y'all see that? Somebody shot somebody someplace. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, did, I didn't see that one. Oh, yeah. It was it. The cops, are, I'll have to dig it up, and I can talk a little bit more about it. But I thought it was hilarious. The cops up there, look, we want more people to do this. If you'll do this, you would help us out. You save paperwork and all that kind of stuff. So oh, somebody breaks in your house, just shoot them. Back in the good old days. Yeah, don't well, use the more Lego heads. Much, huh? Is, isn't that what Joe Biden said? Yeah. You know, if if you, somebody know. knocks on your front door and you don't know them, just fire your shotgun through the door. There you go. Then drag them inside. Drag them inside. Yeah. Call Bannister Cooper Funeral Home. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. That's what's on my emergency dial. Emergency dial. Yeah, if somebody breaks in the house, it's on my speed dial. Yeah. I can call Bannister's first. Then c- cops later. Maybe not even the cops. Depends. But you I got have enough to bullets to make sure you hit them? Yeah, I do. It's <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of bullets because I'm a terrible shot. You got enough ammo supply, yeah. there, buddy. Yeah, I'll get him for it's over with. I reckon California food chains are laying off workers because of the $20 minimum wage. They're laying them off right and left, so you're going to be sitting in line a long, long time to go through a semi-fast food. I guess they need to call that now instead of fast food. Well, they're going to semi, not-so-fast food or something. But, yeah, they're laying them off, not $20 so minimum wage law. That's going to help the economy, don't you think, Pat? It will. It will. That'll, that'll, uh, yeah. People stop going to fast food because uh, they can't afford, you know, to pay the price. Yeah. We got that news. That's going to translate into higher prices. Yeah. No, that ain't the way it works, man. Do you not listen to the Biden administration? I did not. Yeah, they give you more money on your check, and that gives you more money to buy stuff. Yeah. It costs more money. No, 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 no. It does not. It does not. It reduces inflation. 
You know, risking that guy you had the other day from uh, North Carolina running said he's going to raise everybody's minimum wage and it reduces inflation. You don't remember that? I don't remember that. That's the problem. Oh, that was, wait a minute. That was the lady who was running? Was it the lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember it. Yeah. It was the lady. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was going to get more money and that would bring prices down. Yeah, that would work. I'm all about that, ain't you? Those are people who missed the class on economics. Yeah. I'm with you. We need to get some. Sorry I'd like to see that. some old hillbillies up there, wouldn't you? More people with common sense. I don't care if they're hillbillies or, you know, African Americans. No, we need hillbillies, man. We need rednecks in the White House. We need rednecks in the White House where they have, like, tractor pulls in the front lawn. That'd be cool. Would that not be we, cool? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We had a redneck in the White House. Who was that? Billy. Oh, yeah. Billy. If Billy, Billy would have won, Billy, we, Billy Carter. Carter, if he'd have won, we'd been better off. Yeah. All he did was drink beer. Bad beer at that, too. Are you kidding? <laughs> Peggy said cheap beer is good beer. I don't care what it tastes like. Free beer is the best <laughs> kind of beer. <laughs> yeah, well, free beer is fine, but Billy beer was awful. Hey, we got this gal, man. She's got a debate going over uh, about being a traditional wife. She wants to be a traditional wife, and everybody's jumping on her. Like, you don't want to be. You want to be a businesswoman. You don't want to be a traditional wife. I don't, you know. What's a traditional wife? That's somebody who actually, that's a homemaker. A homemaker, let's just say. They stay home and they take care of the kids and the house and they do laundry and they do all this kind of stuff. What's what's wrong with being that? That's hard work, man. There's no way. I'd want to be a traditional yeah, wife. Yeah, it is hard work. You never get off. So, <laughs> why are people complaining about I know Kelsey that? works on Mondays and she's like, well, now time for my break. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a homemaker. I'll just be honest with you, because it's never ending. You know? That's true. Especially living That's with somebody true. like you, I'm sure, man. And we got all these transgenders want to transgender into uh, women. You've lost your mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're so mentally challenged. Stupid. You're stupid. But, but they don't want to be traditional wives, right? No, well, they're not traditional wives. Yeah, they're plumbing's all wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, Pat... <laughs> Let's explain something to you. <laughs> it's the birds and the bees, not the bees and the bees. <laughs> Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Are you with me there, Pat? I'm, I'm with you. I'm taking notes. <laughs> okay, you need to because you're the only guy in the room who thinks that dude here. was pretty on the on the runway there. Hey, but if you hey, do one mistake, and what do you remember? <laughs> yeah, what they say. Yep. <laughs> yep. Just one time, man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just once. What? Just once. Oh, Lordy. I'm sorry, y'all. We're getting sideways out here, but what are you going to do? <laughs> We're getting sideways. <laughs> <laughs> you came in sideways, and you're going to go out sideways. Oh, Lord. I know that's right. I guess we need to. Go to break. We're going to give up. We, we got any more auto parts out there from Monkey's Record Service? What do we have? Hey, I got an idea. Let's give away a gift basket. Let's give away a headlight to a 63 Dodge. Sure. I wonder if he's got, I bet he's got one out there. Courtesy of who? Monkey's? Monkey's, yeah. Hey, listen, if y'all got any junk cars you're going to sell or something, call him, man. He'll buy them things, drag them out of your yard. Golly, yeah. Yeah, call him first. What else we got? Hey, let's give away a gift basket, like a pancake gift basket set with some, uh, I think, some local honey, too, courtesy of Logan Turnpike Mill. That right is cool. That's some good stuff right yeah. next to the uh, hole in the wall in Blairsville. How's Why don't we give some of that stuff away that you uh, got for your wedding that you're not using that you got on eBay? Oh, all the gifts? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> That China, man. <laughs> so what are we getting? We're giving away what? A gift basket set. Well, I'll give away something. Now, Cecilia will have to tell me what it is. She'll give you Cecilia. something. Cecilia. Oh, Cecilia. <laughs> You're breaking my... Is that right? I'm going to text her now. Tell her is that, that her name, Cecilia? Is that that song, Cecilia? Yeah. Is it Cecilia? Paul Simon. You know, that's the thing about it. You sing these songs all your life and then you realize you got the wrong words. I hate that part, don't you? Do y'all ever do that? No? <laughs> Turn no. me on, Tony Danza. Count the headlights. I mean, you know, I've sung that for years. 
And it, and that ain't what it says at all. And going on the bathroom on the right. <laughs> yeah, there's a bathroom on the right. I figured the guy was in a house trailer when he sold it, when he wrote that song. But uh, I guess I was wrong again. Oh, right, we're going to give something away when we come back. What kind of question do we want? Let's do a, hmm, what do you think? A pancake question. Grit? Grits, there you go. Yeah, grits, that's a good one. I get that one. I'll get the grits one. I know all about grits. I love them. Okay. Yep. All right, Young Earth Water Sports. Y'all go by and check them out. They've got all kinds of inventories getting summertime, and y'all going to be wanting to be on the lake, and y'all going to be on the bank, and I'm going to be riding by in my new boat just waving at you. Ha, 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 ha. Go by and check out Young Earth Water Sports. Young Harris Water Sports and RV. Now offering new RVs and boats from top brands like Grand Design, Rockwood, Cedar Creek, Godfrey Pontoons, Hurricane Deck Boats, Monterey Bow Riders, Robalo Center Consoles, and more. Now offering a closeout sale on all 2023 boats and RVs. Young Harris Water Sports and RV has the largest service center and parts and accessories selection in the area, so there's no reason to leave the mountains. Young Harris Water Sports and RV. Located at 3676 Highway 76 or online at yhmarineandrv.com. Let's go! Erlanger Women's Wellness Saturday Clinic offers annual checkups to keep doers like you healthy. Call 828-837-3525 to schedule an appointment. That's 828-837-3525. Appliances, mattresses, televisions, all in one easy-to-shop experience. If you haven't been to Harvey Jackson in Blairsville, then you aren't saving the money you should be saving on washers, dryers, fridges, dishwashers, and more. Name brand mattresses like Tempur-Pedic, Stearns & Foster, Sealy, and Carrington Chase. Harvey Jackson on Highway 76 also handles appliance parts and can repair and install your new purchase. Buy it now. Get it home quickly with Harvey Jackson. Quality and service with every purchase at Harvey Jackson in Blairsville. Whether you need a cart to ride around the campground, a neighborhood cruiser, or a utility vehicle for the yard, North Georgia Golf Carts has you covered. Our family-owned company of almost 20 years offers a full-service department for all major brands, a complete line of parts and accessories, pick up a delivery service, and a friendly, knowledgeable staff. North Georgia Golf Carts is here to make your life easier. Call 706-896-8835 or stop by at 3850 Highway 76. Here at North Georgia Golf Carts, our aim is to keep you rolling. Life's biggest moments call for unique and beautiful gifts. Let Davis Jewelers take away all the worry and indecision with a beautiful pendant, ring, necklace, or earrings. We've got a huge selection of unique pieces to make every special moment become an oh wow moment. Our experts at Davis Jewelry want to help you find the perfect piece for birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, and engagements, or just because. Find us at 417 Blue Ridge Street in Blairsville or davisjewelry.jewelershowcase.com. If you've been injured, you don't need to go to Atlanta or Gainesville to find a lawyer. The law office of Daniel Duello specializes in accident cases and is based in Blairsville. I used to defend insurance companies and saw their attempts to pay less through pressure and delays. Now I want to use that experience to help you get treated fairly. Just search for Daniel Duello or call 706-603-3036 and I'll see you in Blairsville. It's 706-603-3036. Erlanger Women's Wellness Saturday Clinic offers annual checkups to keep doers like you healthy. Call 828-837-3525 to schedule an appointment. That's 828-837-3525. The Morning Dish. The Tuesday Morning Dish is powered by Young Harris Water Sports. You want to deal with people who love boats? You've come to the right place. From a new covered storage facility to boat consignment services, it's all in one place with Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, we're back with you. Hope everybody's doing good. We are fixing to give away. Did she ever text you back? Yes. Cecilia, Cecilia. You're breaking my heart. It is a $25 gift certificate, a $25 gift bag, and she, she is our show. We love Cecilia over at Logan Turnpike Mill in Blairsville the hole in the wall she's giving away a 25 dollar gift bag with pancake mix grip mixes and honeys and all that stuff oh so. man that is so great i love it i love that place they make the best pancakes. i've actually sent her stuff all over the country i send it and they keep asking for more i've sent it to paul i sent it out there to uh california i sent it to new york i don't know if she's gonna let me tell him this but bill clinton N stuck yeah stuck her for the bill yeah we need to go fund me for that all right, did you know that pat i did know that yeah all right, go ahead. What's your question? Typical Democrat. He stuck, he stuck a lot of people with the bill. Us, too. All right, what do you got? Okay, the question. 
Grits are the official prepared food of what state? Oh, oh, official prepared food. What does that mean, official prepared food? It is the official state food, official prepared food of the state of what? You know, I Which thought state? I'd know all these. I hope it's Georgia. Anyway, give us a call, 706-379-9770. This is a big deal. What do you like in grits? What do you everything, in anything and everything. I think every meal should be served with grits. I really do. No, I just, what do you like in them? What do you put in the grits? Butter and salt. What about cheese? You put cheese in it? I put cheese in it sometimes. See? Yep. Okay. Clay Logan puts in them, uh, what's them wild onions called? What's them things? Uh, ramps. 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 He puts ramps in his clay's dough. Boy, that's good, too. All right, who we got, Pud? Uh, we got Diane Palmer this morning. What are you doing, Diane? <laughs> Not much yet. <laughs> well, get up. Get at it. <laughs> oh, I am. There you go. Uh, do you like grits? I love grits. I love cheese grits. You like I cheese grits? grits? What else you put in? Shrimp, shrimp and grits. grits. I mean, grits goes with everything. Yeah, I love shrimp and grits. I do. I love grits. Yeah. Kiss my grits. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the, what, what's the question again, Pac? Uh, the that. grits are the official prepared food of what state? It is Georgia. It is Georgia. You got that right. Oh. You get the gift, gift basket. Don't that just make after you. Stephen, after Stephen said that, I was kind of thinking, oh, no, it's not Georgia, but it is Georgia. I'm pretty smart. That's the yeah. thing. Everybody, when I say something, He's they're like, smart. oh, no. And then a few weeks later, they're like, okay, Stephen, I owe your apology. You're right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you yeah. were right. It's uh, Georgia. Hey, that's a cool gift right there now. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. You get ready to fix them grits up, you call us. Uh, yeah, that's part of the deal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Diane, I'm sending your name over to Cecilia at the store, so they'll have it over there. Thanks and you have calling. to sing to her. Cecilia. <laughs> okay, I will. Oh, okay. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good day. All right. right bye-bye. Who y'all got on tomorrow, Pat? Uh, we're talking about the um, uh, animal fair over there in Hayesville with uh, Robert Siebert tomorrow. An animal fair? Well, you just take your animals yeah, or well, something? Well, I, I forget. Is it called the animal fair or the dog uh, pet celebration? The pet celebration in Hayesville with Robert Siebert. What is that now? It Remember Dr. Hilty Burr started oh, that yeah. a couple Where they years get, ago? Yeah, they give away dogs over there. They have, yeah, they have the hot dog uh, the hot dog, dog races, the dog salt races. And the what kind of races? Of things. The what? The dogs. 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 Let her say that again. I don't hear Wiener you. dogs. What is what is Dachshund. a wiener? Do- what? Dachshund. 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 That sounds like a car. Dachshund. It's Dotson. Dotson. What? Dotson. That's that's a Nissan. Well, that's what you said. <laughs> Dachshund. <laughs> I'm sorry, I ain't never been to that wiener dog race. That's a long race, isn't it? Yeah, it is, man. Them dogs yeah. just keep coming yeah. and going. And... It's a foot long race. I like them cartoons where the little dog's running and you know, like he goes around the curve and he bends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I found the bumper stickers. Oh, we got a bumper sticker contest coming up. And if you're spotted uh, with this bumper sticker, you can win some money. You win $5,000. How's this work? Pretty close. But we're going to give away for the next two or three weeks, trying to talk Jeff into some more money, going to give away $97.70 mm-hmm. every Friday. Really easy. you got to come by the station and right. pick up a 97.7 The Morning Dish bumper sticker. Oh, they get the big one or the little one? The, well, either one. That's a good question. We'll give you either one of them. Um, and you put that on the back of your car. You have to put it on the back of your car. Get your name in the hat. We're going to draw names out on Friday to see who wins $97.70. you got to come back, pick up your check. It's got to still be on the back of your car. We'll give you the money. Right. And we are not responsible for people keying your car after you put the bumper sticker on. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you've you got that, a disclaimer, too. you got that disclaimer if you place <laughs> a sticker on your car and get keyed. is not our responsibility. you still got $97.70. Right? It's a little spray paint. You can buy a little, you know, yeah. touch it up. Yeah, that'll work. So, anyway, so now you had uh, the young man on today from uh, Blairsville running for commissioner. Uh, Harold Collins. Yep. Yeah, he, he's a nice guy. I, I I feel his pain on that property tax, which I know is set by the state, but, I, you know, I still think that it's just wrong that you get a million-dollar house move in beside my trailer, and then my trailer's worth a million dollars. I just I just don't think that's fair. I don't think it applies to trailers. Trailers depreciate. Well, not when a million-dollar house sits there beside you. 
property value yeah, goes they up. Do. They do. Trailers, trailers are a separate category. What about the property value? Well, your property value goes up. Oh, the there property, we go. The, the land value goes up, but I don't think the the uh, trailer value goes up. Uh, you know, that's the whole thing. I think it's California's got it. Like, if you buy a house for a million bucks, then that's what you pay the taxes on. I mean, they got to be a better way to do this. That's that's how they do it in Georgia, too. No, it's not. If I'm if you got a, somebody comes in there and, and builds a big fancy. If I buy a house for a million dollars, that's what my house is valued at. Now, does that affect the houses around me? Yes. That's what I'm trying to say. I know what you're trying to say, but you're wrong. I'm not wrong. If I, How do you figure that? I mean, if my property value goes up because of big fancy houses being built all around me, how does that not affect me? How am I wrong? People will pay more for your property. I don't and want then, to sell my property. And then they haul your trailer off. Well, then then pay your taxes. But what if it gets to where you can't be poor you, farmers you, out you, here trying to farm on this land and make nothing, and then their property farmers taxes. Farmers have their property in conservative conservation trusts. They don't get charged the same rate. I shouldn't have to do that, Packy. I shouldn't have to do that. Pat. That's, that's Pat. Pat. I'm Packy. Packy, I get, y'all got to change your names. Well, I'm be sorry that you have to do it, but that's the reality, Stephen. We need we need to live in reality. You need to get in touch with what's what's going on. Pat, you ask a question like, well, what do people do? You know, like, what do people do to close the door? What do people do to stop growth? You know what I mean? You ask that question a lot. There's really not much you can do, right? Yeah, they are. But no, I'm asking like, is that is that a fair statement? Like you say, like, well, what what are you gonna do about it? Kind of, you know, like a lot of candidates that, come well, on. If if that's their platform, they ought to have a plan. But no, I, I I agree. But I guess my question is, though, on the flip side of that, what do people do to try to bring people here, or you know, like hey, well, like we're trying to advertise our county and advertise our area. You know, I have a lot of people who do that, right? Because they brag about it, they do that, right? Is that, is well, that, is that true? The people that advertise their area want you to come and spend money and then go home. Right? Do they? Uh, have you ever seen the Chamber of Commerce advertise "Come and buy a house and live here"? Yeah. No, they they advertise the businesses that you can shop in or eat in or uh, buy gifts in or whatever. I'm just more of minds that like, shh, like don't tell anybody. Well, we're here. Be quiet. <laughs> like, it just, but like if you are going to promote, find it and you move here, like, if you are going to promote the area, promote it in a good way. That's my thing. That's my whole issue. I think you need to promote. Recreational who's tourism. Prom who's promoting an area in a bad way, Stephen? I'm just putting my two cents out there, okay, Pat? Okay? I'm, I'm, okay? I'm asking I mean, just shut up who's, a minute and I'll tell you. Who promotes, who promotes an area in a bad way? Well, you know, when you have got Brasstown Valley Resort, you got hiking and fishing, you never see any of that advertised. Like, Come see us because we've got all this fancy stuff. And then, I will argue about this in the morning, punk. Okay. You feel lucky, punk. Go back to bed. I am. I love you, Pat. Bye, Pat. I love you, too. <laughs> we'll see y'all yeah. tomorrow.